I import my window. The link to the 3D model I'm using is in the description. I make sure to use DirectX because I'll be taking this into Unreal. I bake the maps. Under the shader settings, I use the PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. This will allow me to use the opacity channel. I quickly add a wood material I made in a previous tutorial to the frame. I select the glass and add a fill layer, naming it Glass. Under the texture settings, I make sure I have the opacity channel. If this is missing, it can be added manually using the channel's drop down menu. For the fill layer, I turn off all the channels except opacity, roughness, and color. I lower the opacity to around 0.3. I change the color to a dark gray. I also lower the roughness to around 0.015. If I go into render view, I can now see that my glass is see-through. Add another fill layer and name it Scratches. I turn off all the texture channels except opacity, roughness, and color. I add a black mask with a fill. For the gray scale, I add a grunge map. I'll use the grunge scratches rough. I'll increase the tiling to around three. And then change the other parameters as I see fit. I change the color for the scratches to a darker gray. I duplicate the scratches layer and rename it to smudges. I change the gray scale grunge map to a smudge. I'll use the Grunge Dusty Powder Soft. I decrease the tiling and adjust the other parameters. I change the color and add a bit of brown to indicate a dirty surface. I increase the roughness to around 0.7. I add a new fill layer and name it Dust. I turn off all the texture channels except opacity, roughness, and color. I search for a dust smart mask and drag it onto the layer. I'll use the dust dirty. I lower the global balance and the ambient occlusion.
I changed the color to a slightly lighter version of the smudges layer. I increased the roughness to around 0 0.8. I add a folder and rename it. I move all the layers into the folder. I right click on the folder and create a smart material. I export my textures for the model from Substance Painter. I'll use the Unreal Engine 4 Pact for the output template. In Unreal Engine, I import my 3D model and my textures. I rename the wood material. I open the wood material and drag in my textures. I connect the base color texture to the base color input. I connect the normal texture to the normal input. I connect the red channel to the ambient occlusion input. I connect the green channel to the roughness input. And I connect the blue channel to the metallic input. I then save the material. I rename the glass material. I open up the glass material and drag in my textures. Connect the base color texture to the base color input. I connect the normal texture to the normal input. I connect the red channel to the ambient occlusion input. Connect the green channel to the roughness input. And I connect the blue channel to the metallic input. I select the material node and change the blend mode to translucent. I connect the alpha of the base color texture to the opacity input. Under the translucency section, I change the lighting mode to surface translucency volume. This will allow me to access the normal roughness and metallic channels. Under the refraction section, I change the refraction method to index of refraction. I add a scalar parameter by holding down the S key and left clicking. I name it IOR for index of refraction and give it a value of 1.52, which is the IOR for window glass. I add a constant by holding down the one key and left clicking. I give this a value of 1.52. I add a lerp node and connect the constant into the A input and the IOR into the B input. I add a Fresnel node and connect it to the alpha input. I 
I connect the LERP to the refraction input. And then save the material. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video about making glass and substance painter, you may enjoy this video. Have a good day.